surface area of solid figures. Hi dear students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you are going to learn how to find the surface area of some solid figures like cube, rectangular prism, triangular prism, square pyramid, cylinder, cone, and sphere. Let us begin! Let's have our first example. We have here a cube whose side measures 5 meters. To get a surface area of a cube, we are going to use the formula 6 times s squared. So that will be 6 times the square of the side, which is 5 meters. So that will be 5 meters times 5 meters. 6 times 25 square meter is 150 square meters. Now, this is the surface area of this cube. Great job! Now, this time we have a rectangular prism whose height measures 11 meters, length 8 meters, and width 5 meters. Now, to solve for the surface area of a rectangular prism, we are going to use the formula 2 times the length times the height plus 2 times the length times the width plus 2 times the height times the width. Let us try and solve. First, we have 2 times the length, which is 8 meters, times the height, which is 11 meters. And if we solve for this one, we'll get 176 square meters. Next, let us multiply 2 times the length, which is 8 meters, times the width, which is 5 meters. If we solve for this one, we'll get 80 square meters. Next one, we have 2 times the height, which is 11 meters, times the width, which is 5 meters. And that would be 110 square meters. Now, let us add the three areas that will be 366 square meters. Now, this is the surface area for our rectangular prism. Awesome! We have here a triangular prism whose base are triangles, and we can see that it has three sides, which is 6 meters, 5 meters, and 3 meters. The length here would be 6 meters while the height would be 4 meters. Now let us try and solve. The formula for the surface area of a triangular prism would be the length times the perimeter of the base, which is a triangle, plus base times the height. First, let us get the length, which is 6 meters, times the perimeter of our triangle, which is the sum of its side, so that will be 6 meters plus 3 meters, plus 5 meters, and that is 14 meters. Next, we have base times the height. Here, the base is 3 meters times the height of the triangle, which is 4 meters. Now, let us solve. 6 meters times 14 meters is 84 square meters, plus 3 meters times 4 meters, which is 12 square meters. Now, let us add the two areas. We'll get 96 square meters. Now, that is the surface area of this triangular prism. Awesome! Now, let's go and have another one. This time, we have a square pyramid whose slant height measures 9 centimeters, while the side of its base, or the base of the triangle, measures 5 centimeters. To solve for its surface area, we are going to use the formula 2 times the base times the height of the triangle plus s squared. First, we have 2 times the base of the triangle, which is 5 centimeters, times the height, which is 9 centimeters. And that is 90 square centimeters. Plus the square of the side of the base, which is 5 centimeters. So that will be 5 centimeters times 5 centimeters. And that is 25 square centimeters. Let us add the two areas. We'll get 115 square centimeters. 
Now, this is the surface area of our square pyramid. Great job! Now, let's have another figure. This time, we have a cylinder. Our cylinder has the radius of 4 meters and the height of 9 meters. To get the surface area of a cylinder, we are going to use the formula 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. First, let's have 2 pi r h. That will be 2 times the value of the pi, which is 3.14, times the radius, which is 4 meters, times the height, which is 9 meters. If we solve for this one, the answer would be 226.08 square meters. Next, we have 2 pi r square. So that will be 2 times the value of the pi, which is 3.14 times the square of the radius, which is 4 meters. So that will be 4 meters times 4 meters. If we solve for this one, the answer would be 100.48 square meters. Now let us add two areas. The answer is 326.56 square meters. Now this is the surface area of our cylinder. Wonderful! Now, let's take a look at another example. We have here a cone whose slant height measures 7 decimeters and the radius 2 decimeters. To solve for the surface area of a cone, we are going to use the formula pi r s plus pi r squared. First, let us solve pi r s. That will be the value of pi, which is 3.14 times the radius, which is 2 decimeters, times the slant height, which is 7 decimeters. If we multiply this, the answer would be 43.96 square decimeters. Next, we have pi r squared. Again, the value of our pi would be 3.14 times the square of our radius, so that will be 2 decimeters times 2 decimeters. And that is 12.56 square decimeters. If we added two areas, the answer would be 56.52 square decimeters. Now, this is the surface area of our cone. Awesome! Lastly, we have a sphere. Here, we can see that our sphere has the radius of 12 centimeters. To solve for the surface area of our sphere, we are going to use the formula 4 pi r squared. Let us multiply 4 to the value of the pi, which is 3.14, to the square of our radius. So that will be 12 centimeters times 12 centimeters. If we solve for this one, it will be 4 times 3.14 times 144 square centimeters. And that is 1,808. 0.64 square centimeters. Now, this is the surface area of our sphere. Wonderful! Wow, you made it this far, students. Now, here are the things that you learned today.